another challenging version of a processor for the assembly of mid-range systems. However, the overestimated price can seriously hinder its sales promotion at the market launch. Here is Jesse.com and today we are going to test the processor Intel Core i3-6300. We have already reviewed the processor i3-6100 and we think that implementation of Intel's Kylake microarchitecture ensured the most advantages to representative of Intel Core i3 series. It is therefore quite reasonable that after the review release we were rather curious to know what then will be the performance of the older models from this line. The point is that high frequencies apart, i3-6300 and 6320 have also an additional L3 cache. Ideally, this should increase the CPU performance in multi-threaded applications, as well as speed up the complex calculations. Our test is to show whether our forecasts are true or not. Intel Core i3-6300 is going to be our greener peak, which price was about $170 at the time of the review editing. Box version of i3-6300 includes a fairly conventional set of components. A standard cooling system, user's manual and a sticker with the manufacturer's logo. This model belongs to Intel's Skylake line and thus it features complete physical and electrical compatibility with LGA 1151 socket. Despite the fact that i3-6300 and 6100, which was tested formally, have the same TDP level of 51 watts, they employ less efficient fan featuring almost half the performance. The speed of Intel Core i3-6300 can reach 3800 MHz under maximum load. The reference frequency is standard and makes 100 MHz. Just keep in mind that Core i3 models do not support Intel Turbo Boost technology. While idle, the processor speed is reduced to standard value of 800 MHz. The cache structure of Intel Core i3-6300 is as follows. Perhaps here is the most important difference from i3-6100 and which is the reason for the producer to ask in overpayment about $30 plus 1 MB of L3 cache memory. The review hero can operate with two types of memory, DDR4 and DDR3L, and thus the guaranteed module supported frequency makes 2133 MHz and 1600 MHz accordingly. The maximum capacity is claimed at 64 GB. Specifications of the integrated graphics core Intel HD Graphics 530 fully comply with iGPU which are installed on the leading models of Intel Skylake series. Unlike the processor cores, here we already have an available technology of frequency dynamic multiplying. It increases up to 1150 MHz from nominal 350 MHz under high loads. We have used the following equipment for the processor testing and comparison. As it was expected, the larger capacity of the cache memory and the additional 100 MHz of the speed promoted the review hero to get ahead of the younger model i3-6100. However, the average difference in efficiency of 5% cannot be fairly considered a substantial margin. And to tell the truth, we expect it to achieve more ponderable advantage. After all, by paying just $30, you can already get 4-core i5-6400, which is ahead i3-6300 by about 10%. In short, the testing solution does not look like the most optimal choice as compared to the nearest neighbors in the series line. Almost the same conclusion is obvious when comparing the new product with AMD processors. The point is that AMD Affix 6000 models would have to be the competitors for the products from the Intel Core i3 line. However, 6300 is on sale for $170 now, and you can easily get 8-core AMD FX8320, 8320E or FX8300. And with regard to the latter two cases, you can even manage to save a little, about $10 or $20. And if the review hero can easily compete with the above models in single-threaded applications, then it has a very little chance to succeed in activities that are optimized for the parallel computing. However, it is necessary to make an important excursus. Not all of the modern applications can make a full advantage of the 8-core performance, which AMD FX8000 processors have, and especially it is observed clearly in games. For example, i3-6300 showed better results than FX8320E in such well-known games as Battlefield 4, Watch Dogs and Alien Isolation. Also, its benefits include lower power consumption and heat dissipation. 
practical a system with FX 8320E processor consumes by 35 or 40 watts more under high loads as compared to a computer which is assembled on the basis of i3-6300. As for the features of the integrated graphics core, it is a bit faster than the one of Intel Core i3-6100, also additional 6% of efficiency still do not allow to obtain a comfortable gameplay in resource-consuming AAA projects, despite the minimum settings. This model has a locked multiplier, so then the overclocking is to be implemented by adjusting the reference frequency. To achieve better results, it is recommended to use special BIOS versions, which you can find in the web. But please be careful, because after the installation some of the features will not function properly or will be not available at all. Thus, we had the problem of that kind when IVX instructions were blocked and hit sensor values failed to be recorded as well. However, the increased overclocking facilities recompense completely the above drawbacks. We managed to raise the processor speed from 3800 MHz to almost 4.5 GHz, or by 18% above the reference. During the testing, the reference frequency was fixed at 118 MHz, and the power supply voltage was increased up to 1.425 volts. In this case, the crystal temperature was within 70 to 80 degrees, depending on the sensor. Just to remind, Intel does not recommend exceeding the limit of 65 degrees, although a major part of diagnostic utilities determines the critical temperature as 100 degrees. Generally, during the test we managed to achieve even better performance, but in these cases the system operated very unstable and thus could not pass the test that we proposed. We did not manage to overclock the integrated graphics core. The average gain in processing speed was just over 9%. The result is not as good as i3-6100 has, but it's not too bad in total. At least during overclocking of Intel Core i3 series models from previous generations, it was rarely possible to obtain such values. Currently, the absolute frequency record for the tested processor stands for 5821.52 MHz. It was created by an Italian overclocker by using a free own coolant system. Our value can also be considered a record to a certain extent as it is the highest result by an air cooler system. Processor Intel Core i3-6300 appeared to be quite an interesting solution, although it is not well balanced as compared to i3-6100. The course is the high price at the market launch, about $170, and a relatively small gap between the very 6100 5% on average. Unfortunately, the additional 100 MHz of frequency and an extra megabyte of cache memory failed to promote any substantial advantage. In this regard, it is rather difficult to consider its market position. In theory, this model is designed for a mid-range computer, but in terms of price and performance, it is behind i3-6100. Well, it is possible that someone may want to use it in a more efficient system. And this position is already occupied by four core models Intel Core i5, which are much far ahead the hero of this review. For example, i5-6400 is faster by 10% and costs only $30 more. And we didn't even mention the competitors. You can easily get an 8-core model from AMD FX8000 series at the same price that 6300 has. Surely, if desired, the difference in efficiency can be replenished by means of overclocking. However, it causes implementation of inadvisable bias, disabling some instructions and, what is the most important, an extra cost for purchasing the cooler, as the supplied cooling system has no chance to process the increased heating. Finally, it's all about the cost. The very processor Intel Core i3-6300 is not bad, also it has a little chance of success at the price about $170. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!